Uh, very, very fortunate to have with us the leader of the Green Party of Canada, Elizabeth May. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Chris made that sound like something that a game show host would say. Um, look, I'm very, very happy to be here. This is, of course, the launch of our Pride events for the week and the weekend. And, of course, the, uh, the Greens will be out in full force at Pride. And I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you there. March with us. Come on, come on. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I'm very happy to be here to support Chris Tindall and his race in Toronto Centre, and we've had some other candidates in and out of the event. A good chance to chat here at a meet and greet. My very first experience, and I hope not my last, with the famous Go Green Martini. Uh, it's, uh, it's an excellent event and an excellent chance to get to see all of you. It's, uh, as you can imagine for me, it's been a, it's been a great couple of weeks. Uh, I am challenging Peter McKay in Central Nova. And <laughs> I always, knew, I always knew Peter was a, a, a sweet and generous boy, and I do appreciate his voting against the Atlantic Accord and the federal budget. <laughs> uh, there's, there's never been anyone, any way that someone who was perceived to be popular in his own riding has so quickly be see, been seen to be beatable. In any case, um, I'll be spending all summer in Nova Scotia in my riding, and I just wanted to take this chance to ask any of you who might want to come, to come down and visit me in Nova Scotia. I swear you don't have to work for the Green Party. You can just come and hang out. We have wonderful beaches. This is the uh, obligatory part of my speech, which is the Nova Scotia tourism opportunity. <laughs> just to say, jump on the train, come find me at the Green Party office in New Glasgow, and I'll get you fitted out with a good place to stay and a nice place to, to visit for a while. But more seriously, this, is, this Pride Parade theme is unstoppable. And I just want to make sure that you all know that the Green Party is four square, shoulder to shoulder, that gay rights are unstoppable, human rights are unstoppable, and we're very proud of the progress that the gay and lesbian and transsexual and transgendered community has made in, in gaining the respect that everyone in that community deserves. Uh, we are the political party that had the first openly gay leader. Uh, not Jim Harris, actually. Um, I know all of you thought, but no, Chris Lee. And uh, we also are the first political party to formally and publicly endorse uh, equal marriage rights. Uh, we are a party that has historically always been in the forefront of gay rights. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have been known widely. So we, oh, here's Jim Harris now and his date. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, Jim, Jordy, hi. Um, so I just want to make sure that, um, that we communicate as clearly as we can that we are going to be uh, in the corner of gay rights, pushing hard to ensure that the Harper government and its regressive conservative agenda doesn't gain a toehold of strength in this country. And we'll be working uh, with you and enjoying and celebrating with you. Pride uh, week and the uh, Pride Parade are certainly a high point in my year. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope, again, please do, if you haven't thought about where you're going to march in the parade, please join us. We'd be very, very proud to have as big a Green Party contingent mar marching in the Pride Parade to make the point that all the things we care about, the momentum of people who are committed to their issues, is always unstoppable. The momentum of the Green Party is unstoppable. The momentum of the gay community is unstoppable. The momentum of people who are committed to ensuring we have a livable world is unstoppable. Thank you for being here. Thank you.